Our next speaker for the for today is Mark Scorpion. Are you ready, Mark? Yes. Okay. Mark is doing project number nine, and he has requested five to seven minutes. His title for the speech is Alcoholism, Disease, or Choice. And his objective for today is to prove that alcoholism is not a disease, but an addiction with a choice. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mark Scott up to the podium. Thank you, Toastmaster of the Day, and fellow Toastmasters and guests. Um, I'd like to start off by saying that, um, by posing the question, um, is alcoholism a, a disease where the people are considered victims, or is it a, a choice which would kind of mean that it has to do with your character? Um, and I'd like to ask you guys a few questions here to get a poll on this. Um, you know, what is what is your idea of an alcoholic? Can everybody see that already? Is that is that big enough? The writing, and it's like it's like a multiple choice. Uh, like, how many people think of you know think of an alcoholic? They think of a homeless bum, somebody on the side of the road. Anybody? Okay. How about like a business person? You know, I mean, um, like a housewife. These are just some ideas I came up with. Uh, and, or gee, it could be anyone. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody's right there because that's really, really what it comes down to. Um, alcoholism is uh, is considered a disease only because the American um, Medical Association said it was a disease. It um, and a lot of people, 90% according to a health poll, if you ask whether it was a disease or not, would probably say you know, they would agree with the American. Medical Association, but it's not a disease in the true sense of disease because it. What happens is with a disease, the symptoms come because of the disease. Whereas with alcoholism, you have to consume the alcohol before you have the symptoms of the disease. So that's where it. That's where I believe that it is, it is more of a choice, and that's not to say that there are people that are more. There are people that are more susceptible or more um, prone to addictive personality and, and um, have more trouble putting alcohol down once they start drinking. But uh, I still wouldn't label it as a disease. Um, the other thing I don't agree with and um, is through the big book, Alcoholics Anonymous, uh, their, their book that they have, they in it they say alcohol, that we, we become powerless over alcohol and I, I don't believe that we're powerless as long as we have a, a choice in our mind to be able to do something about it. Uh, so that's that's one point that I disagree with. Um, there are, um, a, a lot of it has to do with mind. Cognitive therapy is one way to deal with an addictive behavior and there is if we can change our way of thinking, we can change, you know, actually our behavior patterns. And I think that's the best way to approach it. And, um, you, know, you know, in a personal note, it's worked in my life and um, so on. The evidence I have is, is me. And, you know, so that's, that's how I look at that. Um, I have some information. Um, which it's just some quotes I just want to read um, that I had. See, I know it's more of a speech, but I, I figured it's important to some other people's thoughts. And, and this I got off, you know, on the computer. I was looking, and I found one of the most important things for an individual or a loved one to know about alcoholism is that it's not a disease, and with the right rehabilitation <coughs> program, it could be completely overcome. Um, an addiction to alcohol. Um, can be a physical and or emotional dependence, but should not be considered a disease. Um, similar to other addictions, an individual turns alcohol to solve a problem you're having. And um, you're not really facing the problem. I, I think that's where I think therapy comes in in a way to, to heal somebody, and it is, it is curable. 
whereas the be thinking that it's a disease and your power is over, you have no way to to help yourself, and you always have to continue to go to you know do the twelve steps and be involved, and and I and I just I, I don't believe that that's where it is. Uh, I mean I I know alcoholism is progressive. There are some things I'll just share a little bit about. There are four parts to alcoholism. The first you you start off with cravings, you get a stronger urge to drink. The second is uh, you start to lose, you know, you lose your control. Uh, you're unable to stop once you begin. The third is a physical dependence. And the fourth is a tolerance um, where you you need more and more alcohol. But as far as your uh, the alcohol, you know, your lack of self-control and self-discipline, um, that's the start. That's where you start to, um, if you have the lack of self-control, Something that that's what that's uh, what makes it hard for people to stop drinking, but it's because they don't want to face that original or problem that caused them to drink in the first place usually. Um, but getting the person to stop drinking that's the first step, and um, and the second is to handle the initial problem that I was talking about to, that would start to cause them to drink, and that's where the change in the thinking. Uh, if you provide people with tools to to handle their life without alcohol, um, then they can conquer that. Um, and this has been an ongoing dispute, you know, is it an, is alcoholism a disease or a vice? And I, I, I think it's, um, I think it is more of a vice because, um, I mean, I think it's just a way out. If you call them, you know, the alcoholics victims, it shifts the uh, onus of the problem from the uh, choice uh, to, uh, and uh, in personal control to the in, an impersonal force called a disease, and um, and like I said before, we're not powerless over it. Uh, I think we're all if we have a if we have a choice and we know what's right and what's wrong, and we know the the effects that it does. Uh, if we want to change, then that's what we should do. We should change, and. Um, to end, I just want to, um, if you say that alcoholism is a disease, you, you take away all the dignity of our free choice. And that's why I believe that it is not a disease. Thank you, Ron. Mr. Toastmaster. Thank you, Mark. That was a very interesting speech. And I'm sure most of us will agree with what you just said. And the last 